Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change the 2013 Hyundai Sonata GLS oil. And uh, the key thing is uh, uh, get the, uh, the oil filter and uh, engine oil. Engine oil is 5W20. And in uh, engine oil filter, you can either use in the 35505 or 35504. Those are interchangeable. One is older parts number, the other is new parts number. So. Uh, the one I got actually uh, from Amazon. Okay, let's start it. And first, uh, before change your oil, you are, of course, you're going to drive that to the, I'm using ramp, and make sure don't forget to uh, chuck the uh, real uh, uh, wheel, uh, real tire, and then check the uh, oil level first, so you have a baseline, you know, you see what's, uh, you where you're at. Okay, and you really always, uh, and then, uh, once you uh, uh, go to the ramp and uh, uh, unscrew the uh, the drain plug, and make sure you have the drain pan uh, oil uh, uh, container ready, and it would be nasty if you are not ready. And I usually put some paper towel surrounding the area because it, as you can see, the Sonata has uh, some kind of uh, plastic to protect uh, underneath. So usually sometimes it will get spilled over and especially where the oil filter area is. And then once you finish the drain, uh, or, or, or I also forgot to make sure you are uh, the, have the oil uh, uh, cap open so you know get easy the uh, the oil drain gonna be uh, get easier and then once you use the hand to uh, drain the uh, drain plug make sure wipe the surrounding uh, area and The most uh, uh, difficult job is to remove the uh, the uh, engine oil filter, and uh, I have to put a plastic, uh, you know, bag around the surrounding, make sure no spill. But you never know what's going, you know, happen. But uh, just be prepared, and it has a lot of paper towel on, on you know, get ready, and uh, make sure wear glove. And uh, once you lose the filter, you, you can use in hand, you know, to slowly to uh, to unwind counterclockwise. And when you install the new uh, filter, you just use in hand to uh, tie it. As you can see, I'm uh, using uh, some uh, plastic cover to cover the uh, uh, the oil filter area, so I'm afraid of uh, oil will spill over to the uh, the pl uh, plastic uh, uh, cover. And make sure you uh, don't wear a long sleeve. <laughs> so. Yeah, after you remove it and make sure wipe out the oil. And with the new oil filter, just make sure uh, dip the uh, uh, the existing old uh, oil and uh, on the surrounding gasket, so it make a good seal. Yeah, just uh, hand tight the filter.
And let me show uh, what about the surrounding oil. And especially when you ramp, jack, ramp the car, it has an angle. So when the oil drip and the drip on the, you know, the low end of it. And uh, now you're ready to uh, pour the uh, five quarts oil. Usually, I th think every time I finish up, uh, you know, just uh, try not to pour uh, a lot. Just gradually pour it. Make sure you're using the funnel. So leave around like a, uh, over five and a half quarts and then start trying to check the oil level and uh, gradually check. And don't over, don't always, when you change oil, do not want to uh, overfill the engine oil. It's kind of uh, bad for the car. The so dip switch is between the minimum and minimum. It's in the middle, a little above the max. That's where it is. And after drive for a few days, and check again. And while you fill up the maybe, uh, I usually fill up like one or two, three quarts, and stop it and go down uh, at a. a, a underneath the car to make sure there's no oil leak and once it's finished make sure you remove the choke from the wheel tight on both sides don't forget that and that's it i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and i hope uh, you subscribe and uh, click like uh, thank you uh, for watching